Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create a water feature in RealFlow. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the water feature that we are going to create in RealFlow and I'm using RealFlow version 10 but you should be able to follow along in previous versions as well. So I'm going to stop this and I'm going to click on file new project and uh, yeah, that's fine. And I'm going to go to new and let's just call this water feature WF create new project and uh, there we go so first of all under demons I'm gonna create a gravity demon we always need gravity and I'm just gonna move that to the side and then I'm gonna go to geometry and I'm gonna create a vase and then I'm just gonna click on shaded view so we can see what we're working with and um, then I'm gonna create another vase and I'm gonna move it up also shade this one and move it to the side and then I'm gonna press R on the keyboard to scale it down like that and then E on the keyboard to rotate it something like that right so we want the liquid to just come from the small one fall into the bigger one and um, that's going to be our water feature so i'm just going to move it up slightly something like that all right next we're going to go to our standard particles and you can go ahead and do the same thing with diverso i haven't actually used diverso before but you i'm sure you can uh, go ahead and use that as well and then under standard particles i'm going to click on circle emitter and i'm going to scale it down so press r on the keyboard scale it down and we're going to move it into position using W and uh, let's just zoom in here slightly. Okay, that's looking good. And maybe scale it down slightly, a little bit more, something like that. Right, so before we simulate this, I want to increase my frames to around 900. So we have enough time for the simulation to run. Okay, I'm going to click on simulate and let's see what happens. Okay, you can see the uh, simulation is running and it's filling up the bucket. I'm going to stop that, go back to the first frame and there's one thing that we always want to add and that's a kill volume or a K volume. And I'm going to scale it up and this is basically a uh, box. Everything that goes outside of this box will be killed, like all the particles that maybe spill over will be killed and that will just increase the speed of your simulation. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to view and then click on side and then just make sure that this is right underneath your lower bucket something like that so anything that spills over and falls outside of this uh, box will disappear or will be killed i'm going to right click go back to view and then perspective and um, now i'm going to click on simulate again okay so now we want to wait until this bucket is almost filled up to the top so i'm going to zoom in here slightly and uh, there you can see it's filling up nicely and now i'm going to stop the simulation right about there and um, I'm going to make a note of that frame number. So we're currently on frame 220. All right. And then we want to set the initial state so that the simulation actually starts at this point. And then with your emitter selected, I'm going to go to the properties and I'm going to set use initial state to yes. And then I'm going to click on make initial state. And um, now if we click on reset here at the bottom, click on the little drop down and then tick reset to initial state. And now if you click on reset, and click yes it will actually reset to frame zero but it's going to start the simulation at that point all right so next what we want to do is we want to create a kill age demon all right and that's basically going to kill the particles after a specific time frame or a, a frame number and now with this kh selected i'm going to go to its properties and i'm going to change the life to that number that we noted down here which was 220 so i'm just going to type in 220 press enter so any particles older than 220 frames will be killed and uh, now if we simulate you can see that our low bucket is not going to fill up any further because it's actually killing all the particles that's older than 220 frames and uh, there you have your water feature and that's how easy it is to create a water feature using RealFlow. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Click on that thumbs up if you did. And also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified of new tutorials. I upload new visual effects and motion graphics tutorials on a weekly basis. So click on that subscribe button. It helps me a lot and you'll be notified. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. See you guys next time. Cheers, bye.